Hello everyone and welcome back. It is mid-July now and I'm very happy to finally take a break from my work. I teach ballet to children daily and run my own school here in London and so it's really nice to now finally take some rest over the summer and finally take some much needed time for myself too. I've recently been enjoying some much more slower mornings, away from emails and messages, and instead having more time to meditate, stretch, and just take things slow for my body and my mind, and sometimes that's necessary. Today was a slightly rainy but still beautiful July morning and so I wanted to come outside, get some fresh air and see the sky. The summer brings with her a most beautiful bounty of colours and smells and each flower reaching its petals towards the sun. And I was lucky to find some yellow dock growing here too, so I'm going to take some home with me and dry it, and then make it into delicious dock flour to use for baking. Something that's very British and that also takes me back to lovely childhood memories is baking scones. These delicious little bakes are thought to have originated in Scotland in the early 1500s and have since then long been enjoyed by many around the UK and Ireland. They are very easy to bake and can also be a lovely activity to do with children who often really enjoy the process of cutting out the round shapes of dough. And today, as I was fondly remembering my summer holidays as a child, I remembered baking these at home for my family and decided that today would be a perfect day for some scones. Quite often, I find that it's the smallest and simplest of things that bring back the happiest memories. 
And sometimes I find that by going back to the little things that we love to do or that brought us joy as children, it really brings us back to who we are and our own inner happiness and balance. And now, after about six weeks, the plantain oil I set up is finally ready. The oil now has such a wonderful deep green colour and it's full of all the wonderful healing medicine of the plantain. Plantain is an edible plant and is also an incredibly medicinal plant. It has so many healing properties that can aid with all kinds of skin issues from bug bites, sunburn, rashes, eczema and also cuts and scrapes. It is also very nourishing and healing as a tea and can soothe sore throats as well as various gut and digestive issues and it also has plenty of antimicrobial qualities. It really is a wonder plant and it grows absolutely everywhere. One of my absolute favourite aspects of herbalism is making salves or balms. This way you can use your herbal infused oil and create it into a solid version that is easy to carry around and that won't spill or leak. So today I'm making a plantain salve to have on hand for any skin related issues. It's also very helpful to have in the kitchen in case of any burns. The process is incredibly straightforward and involves simply mixing your oil of choice with some wax, either beeswax or a plant version, and melting them together over a double boiler. And that's it! I will leave a link below to a video where I explain how to make a simple salve and you can of course substitute the ingredients you wish to use. I really like this plantain salve. It turned out really well. It's soft and silky on the skin and has a lovely gentle herbal smell. The evenings are filled with soft light and it's lovely to open the balcony door and let in the cool fresh breeze. I love to sit in front of this big window and observe all my plants and veggies that are all making so much progress recently. It's really exciting. I will show you more as the weeks go on. Normally, after teaching, I arrive home quite late in the evenings and so sometimes it's hard to find the time to actually wind down and relax. But now, with a much welcomed break, I look forward to more calm and slow days, cups of tea and some good books. I want to thank you all so much for coming back to my little home and I hope you enjoyed the video. 
let's connect down in the comments below or over on Instagram where you can find me as well. I always love to hear from all of you. I wish you a wonderful day or night and I'll see you in my next video.